All right, so now I have the honor of introducing our next speaker, Tony Sheldon. The fight for good jobs isn't just happening here in America, it's happening around the world. The Transport Workers Union in Australia has 90,000 members, where they're working for a better and safer bus industry, bargaining to get fair wages for drivers, or implementing safe rate laws protecting drivers and the public. Our next speaker is leading the charge for good jobs down under. I must also add that I'm that Australia has something that, that I think we all want. It's not just that great, you know, hello mate accent. Um, they have a national cap and trade program, which we have not been able to achieve, but they actually just did it last year. So kudos to Australia and hopefully soon we will follow. So yay Australia. <laughs> but California has definitely led in this effort here in the US, but we definitely want to see a national program. Tony Sheldon is a national secretary for the Transport Workers Union in Australia. He is a leader of the Australian labor movement. He has been involved in labor movement since 1988 and joined TWU in 1998. He has served in the organization's top post, National Secretary, since 2006. Please join me in giving Tony Sheldon, the National Secretary of the Transport Workers Union of Australia, a very warm welcome. We found the owner. Found the owner. Okay, great. Oh, great. <laughs> no, right. Well, I should say good day, shouldn't I? So, and hello, mates, because we've got a lot, lot of mates out there. I think I just uh, what blows me away is the, what uh, great leaders, what great leaders all of you are, and what great leaders have heard speak both yesterday and again, Congressman. That was just fantastic. That was. Jim Hoffer, Mayor, so many great people amongst all of you here, hundreds coming through over the last couple of days and saying how with a raised fist that we're going to make a difference. To hear people say consistently, what are we going to leave for our kids? Are we going to be the first generation to leave a society that is going to be worse for our kids than the one that was left for us? And I reckon here we're determined to make sure that doesn't happen. Is that right? Is that right? I had the opportunity and the great pleasure to be meeting with workers yesterday on the front line of that fight, that fight for environmental rights, for workplace rights, whether it be in the refuse waste industry or whether it be in the waterfront, in the ports, in the tolls, an Australian company. What really struck me, and I know a couple of people said this to me yesterday, and it, it's uh, just so concentrated my mind about you know, being uh, the opportunity to be a Labor leader and the opportunity to address people here. You know, how lucky we are, how lucky so many of us are to be able to be here amongst our friends, colleagues, mates, and to hear those workers speak yesterday and to rally to speak up about the undignified, degrading, humiliating way they are treated when they go to their workplace. Excuse the language, but as, one of, as my colleague from Australia that's here with me, my uh, president, Jim McGivern, the land of the free, but you can't go and have a piss if you work for tolls in the Australian company. An Australian company has turned around in tolls where port workers, port drivers, are having their rights suppressed. An Australian company that in our own country wouldn't dare take the actions they're taking in LA port and across North America. An Australian company that only last week where we had three workers, workplace leaders, come over and do a fact-finding mission to see what it's like to work in the LA ports and the pressures that exist there. To be told when they try to use the, the toilets or just go and the, the security guards and the manager came out. They almost said in unison. And you could see the, the others standing behind them from the company 
standing at the gates, smiling and a bit of a laugh on the, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a, a in-house in joke, but no joking matter. Look, don't go to the toilet here. Do like the rest of the drivers do and piss in a bottle. The degrading and humiliating way that people can be treated when they turn to work. And to see those people speak out and know that whilst we drive back, had a very nice meal last night and all of us had probably a few drinks. But to see those workers turn around and a few minutes later go back and face the same demons that were humiliating them the day before and the colleagues throughout that morning. And to have the guts and the fortitude to do that day in and day out. To be able to say that regardless of my mates being sacked, it's only making me stronger to fight. Because I want to leave a better place for my kids than was left for me. I'm not going to take the responsibility of leaving a worse system, a worse environment, a worse place for my family. I'm going to fight for them. I'm going to fight for my mates that work here. <laughs> LA is a beautiful place to visit. I've had, been graced with opportunities to be here before in other parts of the States many colleagues in different fights. But what Toll's Australian company is doing over here is that they've come over to uh, work with the US management the company they took over. And they're being taught how to union bust. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here in these next two days. Because they're being taught to union bust and to take those strategies and those actions back to our country as well. When America makes a decision, Australia soon follows. But the difference and the reason why I'm here is because I want to hear the Green-Blue Alliance, and I've been hearing it for the, next, for the last 24 hours. I've been hearing it this morning. I want to get our training, our capacity, our ability to fight, our workplace leaders last week from Australia, ourselves yesterday and again throughout today, to join the hundreds of you in the fight back, to say that we will not put up with a society whether it's in Australia, with the other side of the ditch, across the Pacific, in my homeland, or whether it be in the US. But as my colleague said to me, the accents are different, but the people are the same. We want justice. We want an environment that is pleasurable to be working in, to bring our families up in, an environment where we're respected, an environment that turns around and says, I'm not going to be humiliated when I turn up for my job. An environment that says when I can turn around and make sure I'm in a clean truck, a truck that I can maintain with dignity and respect. A good job. And how's it go? A good job? You tell me. How's it go? Good job? A good job? A good job? A good job? And that's what we've got to do. You know, to stand there and see at the waste operations, see a truck, truck coming out. For those that delayed it for an hour or so, I, good on you. But to see that truck coming out that also shares out of the waste, waste operation there, the recycling operation, bringing cardboard boxes out. What was previously good jobs here, and, and certainly you can say this in the Australian context as well, good jobs in our country, now being made where workers are exploited, the environment's exploited, and this particular truck that was coming out, it was carrying the boxes that are going to be re, the cardboard that's going to be re, remade into cardboard boxes overseas and used to pack those electronic goods to be brought back over here. And they share, that particular company shares the same facility as Tolls, the Australian operation does in LA. To see that nexus and that connection really brought it home about how these issues are so entwined about decency and about how we turn around and make sure we have the best life and environment. I'll just say this. Good jobs. Good jobs. Good jobs. Let's really say it loud. Good jobs. Let's win. Let's fight. 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 And we can do it.